What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we will be continuing on with what we started in the last two videos where we are going to update block items. Quick pause. If you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link will be in the description down below. Updating a post will be quite similar to creating a post. We simply need to have the same fields, but with values defined as our current post. The biggest difference is the image, because you only want to update an image path in the database if there is a new attachment in your request. So let's see how we can fix that. First, we got to make sure that we have an edit button somewhere in our item. In most cases, you will be having it on a specific post, since you need to work with that current ID. If we navigate back to our movies overview, and let's click on keep reading on Hulk. We somewhere need to add a button right here. Let's navigate back to the code editor and let's open the show page. And let me actually close off a couple tabs. We don't need the create and the index. All right, and the form type, excuse me. Let's open the show page and let's scroll to the bottom. Right below our paragraph, let's add an answer. So A and hit tab. Let's add a text of edit movie. Let's give an href of forward slash movies, forward slash edit, forward slash twig snippets. And inside the twig snippets, we're going to say, well, edit one specific movie by the ID. Now we're also going to add a class. So let me actually align this on the line below. All right. And let's say class will be equal to bg green 500 for the background. The font is bold. Padding y axis is 2. Padding X axis is four, round it. Let's add a transition of all. And once a user hovers over it, so hover colon, the BG will change to 300. Let's save it and navigate to the browser, refresh it. And as you can see, our edit button has been added right here. If we click on it, you'll see that we have been redirected to our local host, movies forward slash 14. It doesn't work because we haven't defined the route yet. So let's go back to our controller and right below our create method, let's define a new annotation. It has a route method and inside the route method, we're going to pass in the path, which will be the same that we added inside our answer. So forward slash movies, forward slash edit, forward slash one specific ID. And let's add a second parameter of the name, which will be a string of edit underscore movie. Now we obviously need to define the method right below of it. So let's say public function edit. It needs to return a response. So let's say colon response and let's add curly braces. Now we do have a route parameter, which we need to use inside the edit methods. So let's pass it in as a parameter. So variable ID. And what we simply can do is add a DD to double check if it works over ID and let's add a exit. Save it, navigate back to Chrome refresh the page and as you can see id is number 14. we have a extra space right here which might bother us so let's go to our show page and let's remove the extra space that we got all right let's go back to visual studio code let's remove the dd and exit now that the flow of our application works for the edit method let's move on to the next step which is something we have done before we do want to show a user something so we need to make a database call to get the right row based on the ID that has been passed through. So let's define a new variable called movie and let's set it equal to this movie repository. And let's change the find method because we're going to find a movie based on this ID. So let's say dollar sign ID. We also have to provide a form to the user where he can change up values from an input field and request it after. So once again, Let's define a new variable called form and let's set it equal to this create form. We need to pass in two parameters. The first one is the form type. So movie form type, colon, colon, class. And the second one is the movie that we want to show, which will be a variable movie. Before we work on our logic, let's return something to the user. So a view. So return this render. Inside the render method, we have two parameters. The first one will be the endpoint, movies forward slash edit.html.twig. Second one is an array. 
and inside the array we have a key value pair of movie which will be dollar sign movie while the form will be our form create a view if we save it and navigate back to the browser and refresh our endpoint you'll see that we're running into an error message and that's because we're trying to print out our file type from the form type as a string which does not work let's navigate back to the code editor and let's open our movie form type let's scroll down and let's comment out our entire image path just to see if this works save it let's navigate back refresh it and as you can see it does actually work let's navigate back and let's completely delete what we just commented out and let's redefine it one more time so let's change the add method what we want to add is the image path which is a file type like what we had before colon colon class comma array method let's hit enter inside the array method where we need to define key value pairs the first one will be required it's not going to be required once a user wants to update something because it might be already there then we have mapped which will be equal to false as well map means that we don't want to associate this field with entity properties that's it for our form type now let's quickly edit our view because we don't want to use form tags input tags text areas and so on so let's delete everything from the form opening tag until the button we do need the button and let's delete the form closing tag let's copy the button and let's actually start over which is a bit easier let's add twig snippets because we're going to start with a form underscore start and we're going to pass in the form that we passed in right here then we need to close it so form end is form then we need to add our form widget so form underscore widget of form and right below of it we're gonna paste our button which completely messed up all right save it let's navigate back to google chrome and refresh the page and as you can see the input fields are correct but it somehow missed the styling oh yeah i see why let's open the index copy or extends paste it at the top save it and i'll make sure that this works for you and let's wrap this inside a block all right block body i don't know where this went wrong and right at the bottom let's say end block save it navigate back refresh it you can see that the movie with id number 14 has been added inside input fields as a values and we haven't even done that ourselves which is awesome now let's focus on the logic of our controller when editing an image it could go either two ways the image path we got is optional right here since the image path has been set what we want to is to double check if a user has submitted a new image if it hasn't we simply want to update the title release here and description otherwise we want to add the image path update as well so let's handle that we first need to make sure that we add another parameter inside our movies controller and the edit method because we're going to work with the request object so let's say comma request object request with the form object that we created we need to make sure that we handle the request so form handle request it accepts the request that you want to handle which is our object all right then right below of it let's define another variable called image path which will be the value of the form we got so form get and we simply want to grab the image path value and let's get only the data from it the edit method shows the form but we do need to perform a check to see whether the submit button has been submitted or not so let's create an if statement inside the if statement we're going to check if the form is submitted and so double ampersand the form is valid if it is so if the form is valid let's create a new if statement and let's also add the else statement the if statement will basically check whether the image exists so let's add our variable image path right here which will check whether it's true or not if the image path does exist we will handle image upload right here but first let's focus on the else statement because it's a bit easier 
What we're going to do right here is simply persisting the title, release year, and description to the database. Inside our else statement, let's quickly add a DD right here, because if you know me, I love to debug my application. Now let's say OK, save it. Let's navigate back to Chrome. Let's refresh it. Let's add five after hook. And without adding our image path, let's submit it. And right here, you can see that OK has been printed out, which will be the else statement. With the setters that have been provided by the entity, we could simply make a call to our setters and pass in the requested title, release year, and description. So inside the else, let's remove the DD. Now let's get our movie set title. Inside our set title, let's pass the form. We're going to get the title and we're going to chain the get data method to it. Now we need to do this two more times. So I'll do this real quick. Instead of saying set title, set release year. It has a form. It needs to get the release year and it needs to chain the get data method to it. Finally, we have our set description where we're going to get the form, get the description, and we're going to chain the get data method to it. This does not flush itself. So on the line below, let's say this EM, flush it yourself. If we try to perform it right now, the request will be handled, but the user will stay on the same page. So right below our flush method, let's return this, redirect to route, and we're going to move it back to the index page. Save it. Let's navigate back. Let's refresh it and click on continue. And as you can see, the title has been changed to Hulk 5. Now let's focus on the bigger work, which will be the if statement where we need to update the image. Now I only have Hulk 5 on my desktop, so let's change Avengers right now. Let's edit the page. All right. Let's navigate back to Visual Studio Code. Inside the if statement, we first have to perform a couple if statements to see whether the image path is not empty and even check if the current file exists. So let's define the if statement where we first gonna check the image path. So movie get image path is not equal to null. By knowing this, you know that the row you are trying to edit has an image set. This might look like overkill since it is required to enter an image when creating a new post, but users are always guilty until proven innocent. So inside our if statement, let's create another one where we're simply going to see if the file exists, which is a PHP method. And what we're trying to check if this get parameter kernel dot project underscore there. Now let me actually align this on the line below. And this will basically be our local path. And let's concatenate the movie get image path. Then if the file exists, we're going to get the image path. So this get parameter, same as what we did before. We're going to check the kernel dot project underscore there. We're going to concatenate the movie get image path. Let me actually close off the sidebar, which is kind of overkill. We need to make sure that we define a new file name with a unique ID. Most users on the web have simple names for images such as image one, image two, image, and so on. So let's convert the uploaded image into something unique by saying, well, new file name variable is equal to unique ID. Let's concatenate a dot and let's concatenate the image path where we need to have the extension. Now what we're going to do next is identical to the create method, so the try catch. So let's copy our try catch. Now let's scroll to the bottom. Let's paste it right here. Right outside of our catch, we first got to make sure that we set the new image path. So let's say movie set image path. It needs to go inside the uploads folder, forward slash, and let's concatenate the new file name. We obviously need to flush it. So let's say this em flush and finally let's redirect a user by saying return to this redirect to route to the movies method save it let's navigate back to google chrome refresh it 
let's add a new image of Hulk, submit it, and as you can see, Avengers has been changed to an image of Hulk. Now this was it for this video where I showed you how you could edit a new post. In the next video, we will be focusing on the last functionality, which will be deleting a post. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.